the scale of corruption is so vast that it is normal to be corrupt in government. When my mind started to open up, I realized I'm not a Christian. Some of the verses in the Bible, they were so well written to make a black man suffer peacefully. But remember the other problem is also what, how we hire <laughs> our human resources. We think it's because of his Redila Gama Gaga Collapsed that, music, yeah, that, that municipality. Just talk with DJ Cappuccino. If you're watching this episode and you're supporting Just Talk with DJ Cappuccino, please subscribe. Click on the button your subscribe and you actually give value to the podcast. You make it grow and you make it perceived differently. Um, I'm honored to be joined today by Dr. Puti Alfred Patrick. Mabota, an entrepreneur, businessman, person who's been in the audiovisual business for quite some time, for a long time, uh, running uh, Mabota Pub Productions, also a supplier of sound stage and lighting. I think many events from festivals, uh, rallies, campaigns, and everything, he has done them all. And he's also an academic, a publisher, is a doctor, obviously, a PhD doctor in public administration. Uh, is with us here in the studio, and we are honored to have him here. Welcome. Thank you very much. Yeah. It's been a good day. Are you having a good all time? Your audiences. I don't, doesn't it feel weird because you are always behind the camera, always it, checking stuff? It does. I, I never knew that you guys are in such a bright uh, environment. Yeah. I'm always saying, hey, let's check the light. Let's put more light in. Yeah, I yeah. didn't know that it's so bright. I can see you are even cautious of your cameras. Ne? Very. You don't want them to break them. <laughs> <laughs> Just talk. Let's talk. Yeah, sure. T tell us, little guy. Um, little guy, what's your, your upbringing, your roots? Like, I need to know that journey, especially till high school. I'm originally from Ramatlal, mm. my dear okay, I'm the firstborn of Matlodi Chrislia Mabota and Kwena Filimon Mabota. Mm. Those are my parents. They're still alive, fortunate enough. They're pensioners. Um, you remember in the past, we used, they used to take us and we all grow under one roof at our grandmother's place mm. where we'll be cousins, one of our mom role and also all, all those. Then uh, I grew up to a place called Karlsruhe. That side is Stelop. Okay. So that's where I... Stelop is where? It's uh, Skukuni. No, 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 no. On the way. The steel port. Yeah, no. yeah. yeah. That one is stay low up as stay you go up, to yeah. one. I stood there uh, from my sub A up to my standard five. I was staying with my grandparents. That's why I have good morals, you know. Oh, yeah, yeah. Because they were instilled by the elders. <laughs> oh, yeah. We, you'll wish you were raised by uh, grandparents. Okay. Yes. Towards high school, was it the same area? From my sub A up to my, my standard five. Remember, when I don't know the grades now. Standard 10. Yeah, I, I get a form five. Yeah, you must just understand. I get a form five. <laughs> <laughs> I'm also a form five. Yeah, so. Yeah, but no, I'm not a form five. I'm, I'm still standard 10. Okay, yeah, yeah. I get a form five. Yeah. Yes. Ah, no, no, that, that's great. And then, uh, please, just, just take us through your career choice. What happened? Where, what did you study? Where did you work? And, and what really happened? Okay, actually, from my standard five, I then standard six. What, what, is, what, what is the grade now? Because standard I, six is grade eight. Yeah, my yeah. grade eight, I did it at Pax High School until my grade 12, hmm. which was a form five, standard 10 at the time. Yeah. I did it at, at, at Pax High School. Um, I'm from that background. My father was a teacher. My mother was a teacher. Actually, oh. they ended up being principals, both of, both of them. And my grandfather was also a teacher. Yeah. So I'm not from that uh, background where it was very impoverished, where we didn't know where you're going to get the next meal. Oh. I always had the next meal. There was medical aid. No, no, that I hear from you. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, teachers didn't have medical aid yeah. at the time. Mm. I mean, remember, the gen our generation we were not that sick. There were not any much anyway. Yeah, no, no, there yeah. was... Um, yeah, there were not any much. I remember in 1973... Mm. Was it 73 or 74? The salary of my mother was around 14 rands yeah. a month. But she managed to buy old drops, beds, and everything. And mm. here I am. She produced a doctor from 14 rands. Oh, wow. And after your metric, which is your Form 5, what happened? And I went to University of Venda. 
That's why I did my diploma in public administration. Okay. Um, let me disclose to you and the audience out there that I was not one of those students who were amongst the top five. I was one of those students who were just in class. Like the teachers who didn't know your name. No, no, they would because I was participating. But what I'm trying to show you is that the type of education at that time was not conducive for my own comprehension because it was the type of cram, pass and forget type of an education. Mm -hmm. You did not analyze. I became an A student when I was at the university. You can't believe it. Because that's when you started to think. The, yeah. Yes, that's when I started to apply my mind. That's when I started to apply what, what, what is being taught and you, up, you, 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 you inject it in the, in the real world situation. So that's where you start to encode the tacit information so that it can be a, a practical information and you put it as, as an answer. That's when I became an A student. Then you started with a diploma in public administration? Yes. And uh, I did my degree with the University of Venda as well, be at me. Mm -hmm. Remember, my, my, my qualification from Standard 10 couldn't allow me to be admitted into the degree. Oh, uh, you, 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 you had an S. I had an S, yes. It sounds bad, an S. It's very bad. <laughs> yeah. I had an S. It was just that I passed metric, but not well. And, and you know, these things happen a lot, ne? Uh, whereby students get A's mm -hmm. and they go to institutions of higher learning and they struggle. That's true. With straight A's. And someone, uh, I've seen with us, uh, we learned to construct sentences for university in English. We couldn't express ourselves very well in English. We, we were even afraid to ask questions. But after that test, because we could now uh, understand being taught by professionals, mm. after that math test, then you have 100% and they start to ask, who's Maswangai? Yes. And you don't even know whether you did anything wrong. You raise your hand, yeah, it's me. Mm. And they say, no, well done. Yes. And you realize that those who came there, very fluent in what, what, who had A's and everything, are beginning to struggle because their schools, they must start to produce metric results, true. not to produce people who can really think. Uh, true. So I get it. Yeah, so that's... did you, at some point, you worked for a municipality? Yes, I did work for the defunct Agana municipality mm -hmm. um, when it was still at Corona. You collapsed that, music, yeah, that, that municipality? No, no. It, we didn't collapse. It was uh, it was a political decision. Let me not get Just into checking. let me not get into politics. I'm not a politician today. Yeah. Um, I'm Dr. Patrick Mabot. You are not <laughs> going to hide from politics. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but you can move parallel with politics. Yeah, I understand. Yeah. Yeah. So let me move parallel with politics. So when when it it kind of by 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 it's all by 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 divided into what? When it was discontinued, another portion went to Polokwane. The other one went to Blueback. The other portion went to Mulemul. Oh, it will be three. Yeah, it went to, to almost all those three, three places. Yeah. But now there's, there's, a, there's, there's a outcry from people from Aganan that it must be reinstated. Because it's no longer focusing their needs. Okay. Exactly. Okay. But there's a problem with Polokan because there's a need for Polokan to become a metro. So there's that uh, contestation to say Aganan should not be reinstated because it will impact on the numbers in terms of Polokwane being a metro. But let's leave that for another discussion. And, and what exactly were you people. dealing with? Or? I was a senior admin officer. I was a senior admin officer at the municipality. Uh, remember during those days, uh, it was before the era of MFMA. And uh, what, what you will do is when the quotations comes in, you have to evaluate them, make recommendation to the committee so that they must be able to take whatever company they, they need. And, and Honestly speaking, in South Africa, even today, mm. uh, the problem of fighting corruption is career limiting. Mm. If you want to fight corruption, it's career limiting. Let me just cite one example which made me not to be favored by uh, the then um, politicians and, 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 and managers. Yes. There was a company which was supposed to be appointed for security. I evaluated the bid. Mm. I actually analyzed, not evaluate, because they must, they must evaluate. I analyze all the documents that comes in. After doing my analysis, I realized that the company which was earmarked to be appointed did not comply. Mm. I mean, if, you, if I say to you, uh, this, here are the serial rates, uh, 
Aranang, for example, is in the rural area. It means the rate is a little bit lower. But if you say with a gun and so forth and so forth, you charge five rand instead of charging 10 rands for the entire production and the, 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 the hiring. If you charge five rand, obviously you are low, but you are not qualifying to pay the employees what they deserve. Obviously, in terms of my analysis, I must do my motivation and say, you don't qualify. Because if, I, if we appoint you, it means we're going to have a lot of strikes at the end of the day. Mm. And you're underpaying the people deliberately. Why should we appoint you while we see that you don't qualify? Who was who the municipal manager? By that? No, no, let's not uh, talk people's names. Okay. May his soul rest in peace. May his soul rest in peace. <laughs> I'm just, just checking. <laughs> the mayor still alive? Yeah, the mayor is still alive. Uh, who was the mayor? Um, she's at home, retired, enjoying her pensions. Yeah. And uh, she's a politician. Uh, but I think information is online. We'll get the names. Yeah, no, no. Everyone. But uh, let's not talk people's <laughs> names. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Doctor, you're not going to come here and keep things and be careful. Can we just talk? You know, we are talking, but we are not talking about people. Let's just talk. We, we are talking about uh, systems. Systems. Know? Yeah. So it got you in trouble uh, after you analyzed and they realized what that company that it's preferred does not necessarily comply. Yeah, because most of the time, remember I was, I was still young at yeah. the time. I think I was at my 32, 33. I was still very active in, in, in politics at the time. Yeah. I mean, from student activism, because many people make a mistake. They say, you are a politician when you are still a student. You are an activist, you are not a politician. Mm. From there, with the youth league, I was very active at the time. How far did you go with politics? I... I ended up when we were restructuring the municipalities, mm -hmm. the wards to be ward based. And after that attack, I realized, no, 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 uh, let me go back. Focus on my cameras because that's what I know best. That's when you focused on your business. That's when I focused on my business because I did not want to fight with anybody. Remember, if I had to fight with the, uh, the politicians in the municipality, it meant that I'll also be closing other doors for me. I'll be fighting the ruling party. Who are you to fight the ruling party while you don't have enough resources? So the best thing is to apply your tools of analysis. So there are cases where people fought the ruling party and they got victimized? Definitely. A lot of them. I know some friends even died of stress and high bloods because they wanted to fight the system. Remember, you, you, you are attacked by individuals who are in the system. At the end of the day, if you fight them back, it means you are fighting the system. And who are in power because of the ruling party? Who are in power because of the ruling party. And so there's this distinction that we need to make. Most of the people don't understand the distinction. We just attack the ruling party. Instead and of it's starting, individuals. Instead of individuals. Eish. And that is where the mistake is being done. Hmm. And that is where the ruling party is also losing a lot of support because of individuals. Look at the policies of the ruling party. Let's face the reality. They are the best. Brilliant. Brilliant. Yeah. Even if we do analysis as academics and so forth, you realize these policies are the best. But what can we do? Implementation individuals. is a problem. Individuals. Umalus. Some of the comrades don't even have uh, uh, relevant documents from Umalus. Let's leave it for the other day. Yeah, <laughs> but I think this is this is the right time. I mean, there's no excuse now, because I've, I've seen uh, an announcement from EFF. Yes. Uh, when CIC was telling uh, the office bearers, those who are deployed, that without metric, mm -hmm. we are sorry, we're not going to move with you. And I think it will reach a stage where without a degree, you can't even save, which is very progressive, and also it it is it tallies with. Uh, the research papers that you were presenting. Yes. Because uh, uh, I think we'll get into that. Uh, you, you were mentioning that there are people who are sitting in positions. You don't need cadres there. You mm -hmm. need skilled. You need scientists. Definitely. Yeah. So then the business uh, environment, how did it treat you? How is it still treating you? Uh, was there any time where you had challenges? Like you felt like it is difficult and how did you pull yourself up? Is it business is business and it will remain business yeah up and down up and down the only problem now the which most of us let me include myself did was we we had government as i my our measured client 
and uh, the private sector was less because you know at that time uh, we were not that many in terms of providing quality services yeah. but now the problem is even now we still provide quality services but unfortunately um, the scale of corruption is so vast that it is normal to be corrupt in government mm. officials will just come with their own relatives and so forth and so forth make sure that their companies are in and uh, you know boom chana they will always be there to service to oil the machinery and the people who are providing quality service are being checked out mm. because we have got that vast experience that is needed i mean you also look at most of the services that have been rendered for government these days you'll be shocked i mean let 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 with with pride i would say if you did nonsense during the era of uh, comrade kasel matal he will not even wait for officials to write you a letter he will call you there and then on site to reprimand you on site to say what you have done is nonsense but still uh, that era of uh, comrade kasel kasel matal it's mirrored with uh, its own contra contradictions and many other things again You know. those are politics i'm talking the business part and ensuring that no remember he was he was coming in as a politician to reprimand people who were not doing their job isn't it yes so it means also with all these allegations that happened it was also through uh, uh, his leadership now let's leave that one for another discussion is not is not for us to to debate on it no there's, <laughs> there's, there's nothing there's nothing uh, uh, that is above limit here I think we can easily touch on things and especially speak our minds. And I'm glad that you are speaking your mind. I can see when you talk about corruption. I'm reading your facial expression, the anger because it's like you you know that it is eating especially service delivery. It is killing us. It does and it's compromising a lot of families now mm. because businesses are not doing well. Uh, if you check the businesses are not not rich as individuals in government. And once you have more people rich in government it means you are producing poverty. Now, government is producing poverty because of the officials. Mm. I mean um let's take a typical example. Uh DJ Capuchin you have been in business for quite a while. When last did you receive a call to say come and quote? Because they know DJ Capuchin will tell them there are taxes, there are bank charges, there are 1 2 3 instead they'll opt for a young person whom they will rip off more than 50% of what is going to get and at the end of the day the young man goes home with nothing Eesh. they go home with nothing i'm servicing a lot of young people it's so painful because the, most of them cannot even pay the school fees of their kids and officials are there drinking very nice bottles they even tell you i don't i don't commit so the officials are in business in fact officials are being business yeah. with these young people in the business of doing nothing except signing Yes. Mm. And that's why most of the people I was reading one one article this morning uh, somebody was saying um if you are not paid today just know that you will not be paid. It means you did not pay somebody to sign and process your payment. Oh no, man. I was reading that article on on online this morning. And the other one was saying I even saw some of the people there at Vela Vela swimming and from here they're not going back to the office. Somebody has to pay the workers. Somebody invested his or her money in making sure that the project is it's, it's, it's on time. It's going to be delivered on time. They don't pay that person. The person has done overdrafts. What do you expect? Yo, we are producing poverty. Our officials in government are producing poverty at the best of their ability. Yeah, yeah. You know uh where I, where I live Uh, here in Bolokwane I stay near Sasol garage Mosai Khat mm-hmm. and the guys have been seeing me I think I bought that house in 2001 but I started staying here in Yana most of the time late 2000s so the guys are always saying snanga because I call them snanga snanga do you know what what lile mm. uh, people came here uh, when we washed their windows they said no 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 fester le ukasel tlatswem Mm-hmm. and things changed they saw them downgrade come with a, a a a smaller car they saw them come with a sort of close to a skorokoroka mm-hmm. 
Then, before you know it, they were catching taxis to town. Yeah. Then, they are now surprised. They are catching taxis with them from Rai, from Bomuleji, from Kai Kai. The very same people. Who are staying in town. Who are staying in town. And that says what? They moved with their families mm. from those better schools. And most of them were in business. Remember, uh, we looked at the private, the public sector, mm. most of us. We looked at the government like this, and we were many. Mm. I remember uh, when I came to Polokwane full-time around 2005, 2006, there were many people mm. in that space. True, true. And you ask where they are. Some, apparently, before they get out of the house, Babula Gate, Bachega, if people can see them, so that they can grab a taxi yeah. and go where they're going. So it looks like this system uh, need, need, need a little bit of review, yeah, especially true. if it's all about... Uh, assisting small business people and everything. I can tell you from my personal experience, I haven't gotten any, since 2017, I haven't gotten any order, any tender, nothing since 2017. Yeah, you see. And at some point, Naibile, according to me, the, the game changed around Kassel Matale era. Okay. With me. When I came, it was, I think, Selom Lot. I didn't know was the secretary of what, I would just offer audiovisual services. Yeah, I remember. You understand? Yeah. We would work. And then things changed the way now we had to go to some offices. We had to go to France Montala. And you get tired of that system. Oh. One, one, one of the biggest mistakes most of the people did as well in business, because we're here to advise as well, yeah. is that when you do a business, do a business that you understand. I started with my camera in 1987. Yeah. I'm still a cameraman today. Even today, I'm still a cameraman. And I'm amongst the best camera uh, operators. And I'm amongst the senior camera operators in this province and the entire world. I mean, 1987, you can imagine, I was taking pictures with a film. Today's digital. Maybe at some there. point, I, I gave away my, uh, I gave away my uh, sound system. I was like, it's not working, it's not... It, these things are going to go to waste. Mm. And I had to divide them between two people I was working with. And Baba not like Batsuabe and And I was like, I'll just start to think for a living. Yeah. Yes, I am thinking for a living. I'm hungry. You can see I even lost weight. It's tough. But you are an academic, so that's one it's of tough. the... At least the good thing with you is that you decided to have a fallback. Yeah. Remember, most of the people did not have a fallback. Yeah. Most of the people never knew that uh, I had honors. When you, you guys knew me, as, as a sound made person. I had my honors at the time. You know, uh, I remember the joke when I said, I met you at a conference at the iPad. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And I, I didn't know you were an academic. <laughs> I saw you in that space and said, but I <laughs> yeah. Or no, I'm here to, 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 to present the paper. Yeah, and I made sure I listened to you. Oh, yeah. Uh, you were even too complicated for me. <laughs> You were even too complicated for me. But uh, then now, the, the, the business journey. Yes. Uh, I want to know, especially from what made you go back and want to do a master's degree? Actually, uh, the business side was my survival mode. Um, I always, always, all my lecturers from my second year at university, they said, you must make sure that you become a lecturer. Mm. That's why most of the time they will even take me to conferences. Because I was amongst the good students at the university. Oh, yes. They will make sure that they nature me correctly. They will say, make sure that you are a lecturer. But what I did was, I did not want to come from a university fresh and become a lecturer. I wanted practical experience. The reason being, I've seen most of the lecturers who came from practice, they were very good lecturers. Because they will teach something that they know, and something understand. that they understand. So yes. I wanted to be like that. So that's why I had to opt for municipality. Unfortunately, I didn't know that I'm, I'm going to a slagpad. <laughs> so that is how I became. And because of the survival mode, after mm -hmm. I, I got dismissed for opposing corruption at the municipality, that's when I focused on the business. Mm -hmm. It was my survival mode. It took me about 15 years because I had to establish a family and so forth. Mm -hmm. It took me about 15 years. Then I went back to do my to, to do my master's. Because at the time, um, I remember when I was at Agana, I registered for my master's with Tekis, but I couldn't have time to do my master's. It was mm -hmm. a full dissertation. 
That's why after 15 years, I had to register for an MPA so that at least I can refresh myself with, with theory yes. and research methodology. Mm -hmm. Remember, one of the most important things in, 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 in academia is understanding your research. Mm -hmm. If you don't understand your research, then you are, you are as good as you don't exist. I, I want to ask you something. When last did you drink tap water? Tap water? I drink tap water at home, mm. but after boiling it. <laughs> Remember, I did my research on fecal sludge. Yeah. And uh, lucky enough, that is the reason why. One of the reasons why I, I'm using a borehole at home. I cannot drink tap water for, for, from, from most of the municipalities. Yeah, because I, I, I went through your paper on uh, fecal sludge management and improvement of water usages uh, within municipality of Polokwane. Yes. And there's something that you indicated there. Mm. Literally, uh, if we translate it, Gasped, you were telling us Renoamakaka. Remember the time I was doing my research, I don't know now. At the time when I was doing my research, the reality is the irators, I think there were only three irators working. Yeah. Irators is the, those things which, which, which are circulating inside the ponds. Yeah. maturation ponds so they break at uh, the fecal yeah and then they they also generate oxygen into With the, the clarifiers and thickness yes yeah, so that remember uh, i worked in the space yes yeah. so if 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 few aerators are not working and you drive past the shiro and you you there's a smell then you must know they 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 they, they this is contamination somewhere it means it's the not effluent. complete not dealing with that with the effluent completely yes we are leaving some some fecals yeah. and the, the water down the stream it means people cannot drink it remember if if you put a lot of uh, sewer water into the main water it means the people down the stream are drinking a uh, uh, methane remember methane is alcohol that's why you see people who are next to who are drinking uh, uh, water from the from the rivers Mm. And and uh, there's a sewer plant somewhere and it's not well cleaned. They look a little bit old because they're taking alcohol every day. Fecal sludge. That's why I remember taking the whiskey so man. Because the response is alcohol. <laughs> <laughs> Just talk with DJ Capacino. We are housed by Merupa Casino and Entertainment World. You know, sometimes when I want to have a great time at Merupa Casino, this is what I do. I come early, I go to Caspar restaurant, have breakfast. They've got the freshest breakfast ever. Fruits and all that. Then I go to Wild Things. I know that it's even near uh, the best park and the snake park. Check out the snakes, check out the beds. Then I swim. When I'm tired of swimming, I go to House of Ashanti for a massage. And after getting my massage, full body massage, with all the oils and everything, I then go to the casino to do some slots. I try my luck and I've never lost any money. I always win. I don't know why. Maybe it's about me or oh, I'm always lucky. Uh, but I love playing uh, Russian roulette. I like, you know, being on the tables and everything. And after that, I go to Marimba uh, to have my supper. So that's where I go for my nice steak or if I'm looking for the best oxtail in town, I go to Marimba restaurant. Then after that, I go hang out at Jembe Lifestyle. I party till late then go to Miropa Hotel. That's where I call it a night. Even Nandoni, it has got the same problem. I mean, it has got a lot of fecal. Hmm. And, and some of the road ridges that you see is because of the water. Water has got a lot of impact. We, on we are getting mad. We are getting poisoned every yeah, day. Yeah, you're getting poisoned every day. Then your, 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 your psychological uh, being is being affected. Because you, you, you mentioned that... Uh, the system around that time, yes, in Pulogwan, around 2020, yes, uh, was designed to handle 24 megaliters yes. of water, but it's handling 34. Yeah, true. Megaliters. It means like uh, you, it's functioning uh, way above capacity. That's why you were saying we are living in a ticking time bomb because yeah. everything can go south anytime. It, true. That's why when you even what is that area? Matlaset, is it Matlaset when, yeah. when you drive on the road? Every, it smells all the time. It smells all the time because yeah. the sewer plant cannot handle. handle. It was not designed for Makaka Mancha or Aya Krea. Remember, all, all we did was we, 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 we migrated to the city, yeah. all of us. But what the, the city was not designed for us. No, no, it was not designed for us. Yeah. Group Areas Act, when we unbundled it, we failed 
And I'm still saying, we are failing to plan for ourselves. When are we going to start to plan, to plan for ourselves except to plan for corruption and mm -hmm. how to collapse government? Because all we are doing is we are very good in planning to collapse government, but not planning to deliver the services, not ready to deliver ourselves from the bondages of apartheid. We are still deepening ourselves into poverty mm -hmm. because we cannot plan for ourselves. The system we know was planned for a certain number of people for a certain number of years. How many houses did we build? How many RDPs did we have now? And around Polokwane. Around Polokwane. They still use the same sewer plant, which was not designed. I mean, guys, how many years are we in democracy? But are there, are there plans to, to, to expand this thing after 27 years? Are there plans to deal with it? Unfortunately, I'm not in the municipality. I don't know. I requested to make my presentation at the time. Somebody in the municipal manager's office felt so big that he said, just write it and give it to us. And remember, when you ask for an ethical clearance, it says, I will share the findings with you guys. So that you can... So that you can be able to improve mm. on the services. And what are the findings? I refuse to, 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 to do it in writing. I mm. said, put the, put the committee which is responsible for water and sanitation, so that I can do a proper presentation. After the presentation, they engage with me, then I give a paper. I knew that if I give a paper, this is real South Africa, it's going to be given to somebody else, and they say, no, put up a business plan here, and let's do this and as if it's there. And you're going ideas. to see your brains. Yes, I'm going yeah, to see my yeah. brains there, and mm. I'm, I don't want to collapse. I'm dark enough. I don't want to be darker than now. I think this should be dealt with with agency, honestly. Because as we are talking, Pulukwan is growing. Yes. Right now, if, if you pass everywhere, mm -hmm. there's a development. I'm just saying that if I was one of the leaders, I would always, I would actually advocate that we start to look at this matter. How do we expand? The, and you know, I, for some reason, Mukarnik is not a problem. Yeah. Then you mentioned the issue of the effluent from the hospitals. Yeah. The bed sweat, when they wash the linen, the iodine. Yeah which from my uh, chemistry experience and environment, it's a very difficult chemical to deal with. And it's not one chemical that you need to ingest a lot. Mm -hmm. And in your presentation of the paper, you were clearly saying, we are consuming a lot of that IOD. Yeah, true. It's on true. daily basis. Yes. We need a total overall of our sewer plant so yeah. that we can at least use membranes. Membranes are better. Yeah. In terms of cleaning. Now you mentioned that they are expensive, right? They are expensive, but... It's only now, in Cape Town. Yeah, Cape Town and... Thanks that you mentioned Cape Town. Yeah. Do you know where the sewer plant of Cape Town is? No. Right at the industrial site. Right. Opposite is a, is a glass company. I can't remember what is on the left and on the right. Because they are in the business of dealing with Macaque. There's no smell, my brother. There's no smell. The intake, they've got two machines. Just from the intake, they've got two machines. They switch this one this week, the other one gets serviced. Mm. That the following week, just like that. But remember, the other problem is also what how we hire <laughs> our human resources. We think it's because of his redila gama kaka kwali. We must just hire every person. All the comrades who are campaigning with us must go there. We need we need proper scientists there. Yes. We are dealing with the lives of the people. We're dealing with the lives of the people, but we're not taking care of that. That's why we, we, we are overloading the, the hospitals, is because we are ingesting something yeah. that is making us sick every day. Because this thing is just, it's a ripple effect. Yeah, true. Ro Ronier. Definitely. Like enough, you said it, I didn't say it. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, Rwanda does. Rwanda does. Remember, um, most of the chemicals are also washed from the hospitals, yeah. they go to the sewer plant, which is released into the uh, uh, um, natural resources. Which is not even treating which is not that to the optimal... Exactly. Treating is, is a mild weight, which is which just by, bypass. You just bypass the sewer plant and goes into the, into the rivers. In the near future, if we are not careful, we are going to be resistant to many diseases. Because already... Most of the pharmaceuticals are ingesting. We are already injecting, yeah, inge ingesting. Yes. So very soon we are going to be in, in trouble. That's why some people will take a grandpa or a, what do you call this, Dispring. It doesn't work on them. 
because already they are resistant. Resistance has, has developed in their systems. This is scary, man. No, no, we are living on a time bomb because we are not careful. We have got a very good government with people who are not willing to save the nation. They are there to save themselves and deep pockets mm -hmm. and play with that money, die of AIDS at the end of the day. I, I believe this program here, yeah, clean water, ne? Corey, everything can stop, man, including Mapungube and Skomota and all these things, just to deal with this matter. Yeah, but the problem is, let's face reality, um, water has got one of the highest budget, I think, compared to education. I can't remember which one. Mm. And, and, and let's take Yen, for example. What happened? How many years down the line? People still don't have water. Billions were spent. Exactly. You talk about it, the following weekend, we're burying you. Because there are cartels. Mm. There are cartels which are just there to ensure that there's no delivery in government. They destabilize every sitting government. Remember, some people are thinking about the next elections. They mm. don't think about the next generation. And now we've got the second generation after the elections. And what is happening to them? What are we doing? <whistles> what are we doing about them? What type of education are we providing to them? That if we are in government, that's the best place to loot. Don't worry about service delivery. It's, it's, it's secondary. Loot, 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 mchan. Get rich quick. And when are we going to end this? How many kids are out there on the streets? Qualified. Go to the interviews. Make sure that you become number one. What they do is they ask you operational questions because they know you are not in the system. Yeah. You cannot answer an operational question. Somebody who question. knows one pump, how it works. Exactly. Generally in government, I'm now mm. talking about the entire system of, of the administration. Yeah. They ask you an operational question. You don't know. You know the principles as a qualified uh, person. Not that you can work there and no, no. be innovative? No. Mm. Because they, are, they, 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 are just, they just make sure that they promote somebody who does nothing. <laughs> somebody who has been in a particular position for quite a while, who does nothing, will be promoted to a higher position. And that person is going to continue doing nothing. And hire and, some... and then you know what's the danger with such people? Yes. When somebody innovative comes, they suppress you because you are going to expose that they don't know what they're doing. Exactly. That is what is happening. And that's why young people are angry now. Hmm. No, literally, Rabona Masip. No, yeah, exactly. We are on a fecal uh, trajectory. <laughs> no, no, no. Like, like I, was, I was checking your studies, honestly. And then uh, as I was preparing for the interview, and then I realized that maybe we take things for granted. Or maybe we don't know why we have to lead and why and who we're leading. Yeah. We really don't know. Because the issues of water that you raised, if nobody's attending to them right now, mm -hmm. then we really have wrong people. Most definitely. Most definitely because um, whose responsibility is it? Let's start there. Who's supposed to make sure that we've got clean water? Mm. National government will pump in money for ensuring that there's clean water. But at the end of the day, the money does not translate into service delivery of the people. We need that translation of service delivery, not what we see now. Because we, there's a lot of ignorance, mm. and that's something that maybe the, 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 the nation needs to stand up and say enough is enough with water. The nation needs to stand up. Mm. Because people get sick every day. You remember when we grew up, there was a problem of TB. Yes. And it was not cured. Yes. At the end of the day, TB is cured. Every but third family had a TB case. Exactly. But yeah. now it's, 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 it's done away with. What are we doing? Why are we failing with the resources that we have? Why are we failing as government to ensure that we translate everything into proper service delivery? And water scarce countries. You go to water scarce countries uh, uh, like Boy UAE. Yes. You drink the purest water from the tap. Exactly. Because they are focused. They are focused. 
But when are we going to get focused? When are we going to start planning for ourselves? When are we going to start planning for our the future generation? In in one of your presentations, you mentioned the issue of uh, some municipal workers using uh, manual to to in order to put chlorine, <laughs> and they asked for the same manual. The page that deals with chlorine was not even there. Yes. Yet they put chlorine every day. Hang on. Yes. What they did was they took a um, bag of oranges. Yeah. Then they put chlorine inside so that at least it will serve as a filter. But that is wrong. Completely wrong. On that, I agree those things maybe could have been sorted out now. That was 2020. So we no, that was, water that like was not for Polokwane, remember. It, yeah. was, it was just in the literature review. Yeah. And that was discovered by the committee when they were doing oversight. Mm. Yes. But I guess maybe the issue of water, uh, we should not stop to talk about it. Yeah, it, it should, should be... It, it well, should be something that, that really, really, really we look at, honestly. Dedicate uh, a day so that we can have just a pod podcast. Yeah, on, on and I think, I think it would be nice to even have uh, people who are leading in those fields yeah. to, to come and have an engagement because look at now uh, because you know one thing that I checked also from your papers remember we are using clean water mm -hmm. to flush our toilets yes so with the way we are treating the water at some point we're going to reach a point where the water is no longer even treatable it, uh, exactly exactly and that is actually the concern and, uh, uh, as I'm saying, that we need to call these people, have a discussion about this, so that we can start now as a nation to deal with this matter. Yeah. Or maybe even as Polokwane to deal with this matter. That's why it's important to understand how grey water works. Mm. Is it, if we're using grey water, we'll be having very beautiful gardens now. Do you know your urine is very nutritious to, to plants? Please explain the grey water thing. No, no, grey water is the water that you use. Mm. After usage, you store it somewhere, then you circulate it again. Oh. Then that's the one. That's the water that you can use to flush the toilets. But we take clean water, put it, take. You wash dishes. The water goes back. Or maybe it can even flush. Yes. Feces. Yeah. Then you can uh, maybe you can put some filters in between so that hard, mm. uh, hard, hard substances doesn't go and block your system. That grey water can be reused. If we are five in the family, how many bath trips do you feel? How is it? It's almost half, half. I don't know how many yeah, liters. You, you bath and when the water gets cold, you yeah, then you, more water. Then you can use that to flush. But we don't put that system because we are used to the French system, which we adopted clean water. Water was there. The, the, the nation was not that much. But the system is failing now. So let's get to, to grey water. Let's use grey water. Uh, um, there's a, also a presentation you made, the Afri African Traditional and Natural Product Medicine Conference yes. that was organized by the University of Limpop. And you, you mentioned, you touched on some acts, uh, about witchcraft suppression acts, and, and how the perception, yeah, for instance, the perception, yeah, being a traditional healer. Yes. Uh, how it was demonized mm -hmm. by the apartheid system. How our ways of doing things, and everything. Whereas they till, still take such intelligence of creating, of making herbs. By it's by a patenta, they just put a little bit of honey and it's theirs. Yeah. I'm yes. On. In, 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 also, with regard to that, uh, I don't know what is it that you can share further where you feel like there was injustices and how we should go back to what we believe in as Africans. Yeah, <laughs> no, remember the, the, the apartheid system. You remember traditional healers used to operate at night and it was the mentality that people yeah. must only consult at night. We were not aware that it the was man at night. Yes, yeah. we were not aware that it is illegal to operate at that time. If they find you operating, you were, you were getting arrested. Oh, because of the witchcraft not that you know, uh, uh, Because of witchcraft suppression act. When I was doing my research, the other the other old woman 
who was explaining some of these things to me. Mm. Explain to me nicely uh, how they used to operate. To say, no, no, no. Now she doesn't operate at night. She tells you, no, no, no. You must come anytime in the morning. And when the sun sets, mm. I go to sleep. I'm not a witch. I'm a witch. I'm a witch. Yeah. Remember the problem with that system is if you check in that paper which I which I which I wrote, uh, I indicated there that the problem is these people do not understand how a person can speak to the divine bones. Those are divine bones. We must give them the proper English name. We must respect them. Wow. They are divine bones. Yeah. Because they are holy bones to to, to, to whoever is using them. The people did not understand how do you speak to these things. The Westerners did not understand. It doesn't make sense. It them. doesn't make sense to them. Mm -hmm. That is why you have to understand how you take uh, that. That's what they call tacit information. Mm -hmm. How do you decode? Remember, it's, we're using codes there. Yes. That, that's how do you decode them into general knowledge. So they couldn't understand. They said, no, 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 this is magic. Mm -hmm. And then they made sure that if you check all the plans, all the names were eradicated. They erased all the plans so that they must come and say, come to our university, let's teach you about the plans. And when you go there... The plans they don't them. know anything about. The plans they don't know anything about. They give them new names so that they must confuse you. You remember during COVID, um, yeah. that's when uh, those who know, who comes from the rural backgrounds and understand the herbs, there were about eight herbs that were mixed to ensure that they cure and kill the virus completely. There were about eight herbs. And those are herbs which are just, you don't even have to go far. Even at Floral Park, you didn't have to go far. Just mm. around the stadium and the areas there. Those herbs are there. Those are the plants which we see on a daily basis. But because they were eradicated and they were destroyed so that even the genealogy of health and healing must not be traced to Africa. It must be traced to them. Western medicine. Yes. Whereas our traditional herbs, they cure everything. For every disease, there's a plant out there. But how do we get to that plant? People who are gifted, our traditional healers, our inyangas, our sangomas, our prophets, are the people who are supposed to help us. But they were meant to be illegal. So that we must go to chemical, to to to, to pharmaceutical. Strong, very strong. Do you know what in our traditional, some of our traditional herbs, there's a painkiller, a serious painkiller. It's, it's it's a plant. You grind it, it becomes powder. If you take if if you take grandpa now, somebody takes that uh, herb now. In no time, both of you will get cured the same way. And that one will be more energetic. That is why I always ask a question to most of the people as a challenge. Mm. Is cancer a disease or a deficiency? Mm. Don't, ask me to, don't ask me to answer that question. Let's put it out to your listeners. Let them comment. Is cancer a disease or a deficiency? But because most of the people think if you have cancer, you are going to die, it becomes a disease. But in essence, it's a and question. these things were dealt with long in Echa, like through our Kaka, our traditional medicine and everything. Yes, the problem with our traditional medicine is that uh, the Westerners will say, "Let's go for clinical trials." With clinical trials, they want to check what did you put in, and remember that is your own secret, that is your own trade. Yeah. And immediately you give it to them, they take it's it gone. away. It's gone. How long did you know that um, um, moringa? It's, it's a help in our, in, our, in our tradition. It's been known, it's been used, Carl. How long did we know that uh, ganja, marijuana, mm. baje, it's a help. But it was banned. But they introduced alcohol to us, which is well, more dangerous than that. Listening to your presentation, I also started to think about mostly our African churches. Yes. Or our African churches, uh, they were our traditional, ordinarily our source of traditional help. But they had to be creative because of this act. Yeah. 
to be under the banner of Christianity. That's why when we come, they tell you, here's a plant, go to the river, go take this and that and that. Uh, uh, maybe in a form of something. Definitely. That's why most of the people think I'm a Christian. I'm not a Christian. Mm. I'm a Christologist. Because I'm studying Christianity. I used to, I used to grow up as thinking that I'm a Christian. Mm. But when my mind started to open up, I realized I'm not a Christian. People give us commandments and whatever, but they don't follow them. Yeah, the same people who told us we shouldn't kill have killed the most. The same people who told us not to lie, they've lied to us from the very same day they set their foot Definitely. in Africa. That's why I'm saying I'm a Christologist because I want to understand what Christianity is all about. And then, and then you know also, why was the Bible the only book they wanted slaves to read? I always tell people that some of the verses in the Bible, they were so well written to make a black man suffer peacefully. Yeah, and have hope uh, of, of life after. Yes. And all this nonsense. You wait for riches to come after your your, your, your death. While but, somebody's taking your cattle, uh, your land. And, and he's enjoying them now. I, th I think we, we need to have a discussion uh, with especially, especially people, but believers and everything. Have a round table about these matters, honestly. Because we need to fix these things for our kids. We live in an information yeah. era. Yeah. Remember... Uh, Going back to, to what you said, Kaditaelo, and the commandments and so yeah. forth and so forth. Um, if you check the laws, the Ethiopian laws, the Kemet laws, they are 42. Moses made it easy. After plagiarizing, he could only plagiarize the 10 commandments. They were 42. They are. Don't say they were. They Moses are. was a thug. No, no, I was not there. Uh, or like says, analyzing. Like, maybe he was not good even with crowds. Remember, he was writing on the stone. That's why he took long on the mountain. He was not good with crafts because he was not writing. Remember our psychologist that when we write, we use a pen and an ink. Mm. At that time, he was writing on the stone. And it means he was using a hammer and a chisel to, to write on the stone. That's but, why it took him yeah, that's why maybe so took, many years. That's my analysis. Christians don't fight me. That's my analysis. <laughs> when you check, the other thing that I have a problem with in terms of the, the Ten Commandments and those laws, the Ten Commandments are threatening you. Thou shall not. Thou shall not. Whereas the laws, the African laws, are saying, I did not. I did not. Because they were more used at the judgment day. Not during. That fear. Yeah, they instill fear in us in everything. Mm. They, there's a law which says, I did not contaminate the water. I did not steal the land. Why is it not there in the Ten Commandments? Why is it not there? I don't know. I was not there. You were not there. They were not there. When was the last time you read the Bible? Uh, this morning. Sometimes you must read it. So some of the things are relevant. Make no mistake. Yeah. The Bible has got relevant stuff, which is not some, which most of the time is not taught in the churches. My wife is studying theology now, so I do read some of her stuff there. Mm -hmm. However, she says I depress her the way I think. Yeah, yeah, but those yeah. are the debates that we need to take forward. Yeah. To say, let us let us decolonize ourselves. Let us take ourselves out of the bondage of being slaves, of being taught. Mm -hmm. Remember, if you want to hide something from a black man, put it in writing. But now, mm -hmm. as it's blacks... A very, it's a very uh, offending say, though, yeah. As blacks, we are now ready. Mm -hmm. And we need to find the truth. That's why Prophet Muhammad said, education is the cornerstone of every nation. Peace and blessings be upon him. Mm. I love that man. I'm not a Muslim, I'm not Islamic, but what most of the teachings from Prophet Muhammad are relevant. You know, besides your company uh, handling our videos, uh, the video production, I think we would love you to be in this space because you, you, you like a book, you are so versatile. There's so many things, so many layers we can get from you. And I think uh, we should leave it for now and like tell listeners to look forward to other episodes with you coming in, especially with specific targeted topics. Because I think there's so much that we can discuss. And already uh, with the water thing, <laughs> I'm, I'm destroyed. And now with the religion thing, where I was made to sing at assembly every day when I grew up. Uh, and with your views also, 
I think uh, it's enough. Let's not uh, 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 really, really punish our, our viewers. I wanna, they can listen next time. But thank you very much for, for this engagement and thank you for coming. You inspire me a lot. Uh, you. Uh, you studied public admin in one of the universities and all like they're very strong, yeah. especially with public admin. And you, you worked with uh, Dr. Chauken. Yes, yeah, he's a professor. He's, now. he's a professor now. He's a professor. You work with Prof. Chauken. He's one sober, sober, sober person who uh, I knew him from the business world. Oh, yes. Long time ago. Yeah. So we must encourage many people to utilize our universities, especially even those that are near the University of Venda, University of Limpopo, because the source of knowledge, the dedicated people there who can help us. But thank you very much, Dr. Uh, and thank you so much. Remember, with the age comes with wisdom. Yeah. I will always say to young people, young people, you are fast. It's fine that you are fast, but don't leave the elders behind because they know the direction. I think when we discuss curriculum <laughs> and the relevance of curriculum, yeah. you, you also need to be part of that, especially in institutions of higher learning. What we're learning is still relevant. I think it's a question that we must leave for the future. I'm on a paper now on problem-based learning. Let's leave it there. Yeah. No, <laughs> thank you very much for tuning in, for listening to Just Talk with DJ Cappuccino and also learning a lot from Dr. Mabota Eita. Just Talk with DJ Cappuccino. <laughs>